Vauxhall approached me um, to direct this uh, film about British style and design, which I just was really excited to do. I've worked uh, for 20 years making fashion images and I've worked in film and stills, but this is just really an extension of what I do and I was just really excited to go for it. How I normally style is very eclectic. I like to use uh, designer pieces, vintage pieces, streetwear. Fashion is slightly different, but for film, I needed to build the characters. So it was very important for me to have a great idea of the characters and how to make them feel authentic as possible. Work tomorrow, live tomorrow, love tomorrow. The casting for the film was really exciting and important to me. I wanted authenticity. I didn't want to make pretend characters. The kids in the film, this is what they were really like. And I was showing different types of kids in Britain. And I was really excited when they all turned up to the casting and looking the part I wanted them to play. And that was it. They, there was no question. I couldn't use anyone else, really. The spirit of who these people are, so we're not actually doing makeup in the way that we necessarily always do a fashion shoot. This is much more about the concepts of the people in the pictures and to be believable, so it's much more of a filmic approach to doing the makeup. The skate kids that you see in the film that's what they do, they're skateboarders, they happen to be riding BMXs in my film. They're a group of friends who were cast because they were a group of friends so that they would feel connected in the film. For the club kids, they're really flamboyant creatures of the night. That was the idea, I wanted the feeling of what kids go through when they've been to a gig or they've been out for the night and then they are all wondering what to do next. Two girls on the road, I wanted them to feel a bit innocent and I wanted to depict the excitement that they felt in the anticipation of their night out. My lonely boy just is that kid who perhaps is running away from something, perhaps doesn't know what he's doing yet, he's a bit lost, he's a bit confused. The idea for the driver was that he's a mystery man. We never really see him fully. We don't really know why he's interacting with these different groups of kids. He's on his own road trip and he just stumbles across these people. I think he feels some nostalgia to his youth. I want people to be attracted to him, to sort of think, wow, who is he? He looks mysterious and handsome. We were doing a lot of night exteriors with very little light, so you know we got some very fast lenses, so we could shoot in those low light situations. We didn't really have the resources or the time to do big lighting setups. So it was just kind of trying to recce quite thoroughly and position the car in a way where the natural light and the available light would give us the best possible results. I honestly felt like I was doing a show when I was doing this. It's like quick thinking, high speed, You've got to react really quickly to stuff and it's it gets your adrenaline pumping and that's what happens when you do a show so it's a sim there is a similarity <laughs>